Hello everyone and welcome to the first video in the brand new data structures and algorithms in Java series. We'll look at a variety of programming concepts and put them into practice with a wide range of data structures and algorithms. We'll try to keep things moving along in this series. Those who have questions about a video should always post them in the comments area. From the ground up, I intend to cover practically everything you need to know about data structures and algorithms. I'm ecstatic and I'm hoping for the same from you. Let's get this party started. Nodes will be the first data structure you'll work with. You'll learn what they are and how to use Java to implement them. Many of the data structures to follow use nodes as their building blocks. And you'll see a lot more of them across the rest of this course. So we have a circle here and we have a long arrow pointing to the next circle and then the arrow pointing to the next circle. Now, what I drew here are a bunch of nodes that are pointing to each other. So this is gonna be called the first node, also known as a head node. And the last one is over here, and this is gonna be called as the tail node. We have some data which is stored inside of the nodes, and there is a pointer to the next node. So here we could call this as an independent node, which is right here, independent, independent node here, and an independent node here. Once you interlink them, they actually create a path for you, and you could go from the first to the last one. So these are known as nodes, and we're gonna try to map this out in a program. A node class in Java has the following attributes, a public string data and private node next as a public string data and private node next instance variables. A constructor, which is this, takes string data as an argument and sets the data instance variable to it as well as sets next to null, which you could see over here. Then we need some getters and setters. So I'm just gonna create my setter and getter methods. So let's see, right here we're gonna first create the setter method, public void set next node and we're gonna pass in a new node over here because we want to set it to the next node and we'll say this dot next is equal to the node that you passed in and now we want the getter method so we could say public node which is the return type and we say get next node and all we gotta do is return this dot next semicolon here we got that then we create the main method for this entire class now that we have created our main function we're gonna have to instantiate three different nodes so let's say node n1 is equal to new node and we pass in a value to this so i could call this as first meaning it's the first node that i created Similar to that, I can say node2 is equal to a new node. And for this case, I would put in second as the data. A cool shortcut on VS Code to autocomplete a line is all shift and down. So whatever the line was on the top will be duplicated on the bottom through this. So over here, we're just gonna change this to N3 instead of N2. And the second will be changed to third. And now we're done with this. So we created our three different um, instances of our node. So I have these three nodes, but I don't have them interlinked. So they're scattered out through the memory and I gotta interlink them through my getters and setters which I've created. So let's go back to our code. And over here, we're gonna use the set next node method to set these and interlink them. So we're gonna say N1, which is the first one. And we're gonna say set next node and we're gonna pass in the node N2. So now, the first one will be N1 officially, and then after that, N2. So if we want N2 to be connected with N3, we can say N2.setNextNode and pass in N3. So now we have them all interlinked, and whatever you saw in the diagram is exactly the same in the program. Now all we're gonna do is we're gonna try to iterate through them and print their data values out. To do that, we could create a cool while loop, and I could create a first a node that would uh, be assigned to the first node so we can say current node and this will be changing throughout the while loop so i could point it to the first node which is n1 once we do that we're going to go open up a while loop so i'm going to say while the current node not equal to null and right now it's not null so until it reaches the final portion it will still be remaining as just um 
some node. All we're gonna do is now we're gonna say system dot out dot print ln to print the data value inside of the node. We could say current node dot uh, data. So once we do that, the string data is printed out here. And now we're just gonna have to next choose our next node by using the following method which we created already. So we say current node is equal to current node and we're gonna have to put the method which is get next node once we do that and put a semicolon we're basically gonna change our node at every single iteration so that's completely it with our program all we're gonna do now is run it so let's go and run this now i'm gonna type in java c because this is in my path i installed java earlier uh, if you guys don't have that installed, you could check a video online how to install Java. Or if you want a video from me, you could ask me in the comments and I could create a video on how to install Java in your machine locally. So we have Java C node um, dot Java. And now once we do that, it's compiled to a class. Now we're gonna have to uh, run the executable by using Java, Java node. And once we do that, we got the data members first second and third they're all like the from in order from the first to the last so this was it with our nodes introductory video uh if you like this let me know in the comments if you didn't like this then also let me know in the comments uh until then peace out